When I was packing up to go to college, I found a box full of old sketches. Before that moment, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. I knew that science and art were my favorite subjects, but I wasn't sure how to translate that into a career. I was born in a small town in Puerto Rico, on the west side of the island. I'm the youngest of three, and when I was 12, I came to the mainland with my mom. I didn't speak a word of English, and I did not know anyone. Even though my home offered me citizenship, the U.S. felt like a foreign country to me. It definitely felt like starting over. I would say my story is one of resilience and pride. My mom inspires me. She didn't know anyone when she came here either. She knew it was worth the risk. And even though I was young, I understood that. So that's what we did. She worked multiple jobs and I went to school. We found Erie House immediately after we came here. In Puerto Rico, I was a straight A student with good grades, but here it was not the same case. You know, I was treated very differently, obviously, because I didn't speak the language. So like my work was like reduced or um, people wouldn't talk to me or I was made fun of. There were many times that I came home um, from school in tears. I was so frustrated. I couldn't learn the language fast enough. I think a lot of it was confidence. I felt like in school I was the stupidest person because I, I didn't know everything. It was fast paced. And then in um, Erie House, everything was coming at me once at a time, you know, and like people would talk to me, like ask me for help. So I, I guess it built my confidence to um, talk more English or like get out of my comfort zone and like try harder, you know. Being exposed to everything in Erie House fueled my imagination. I love the computers at Erie House. It was the first time that I worked with the internet. Erie's goal is to have a wider impact in their neighborhood. Their focus on STEM develops young leaders for all types of careers, helping take those drawings and make them a reality. So for our youth, we have a variety of different STEM initiatives, ranging from tutoring and on-site programs to activities in terms of building rocket ships or other initiatives that really help youth to understand the STEM concepts and prepare them for careers in those fields. What's been really cool for our school-age youth is the opportunity to participate in activities at the new MB Ice Arena, thanks in part to the Chicago Blackhawks Foundation. In the same way Erie House's STEM programming helps expose our youth to potential opportunities in STEM-related fields, our workforce development program does the same thing. So we help to lay a foundation in manufacturing, technology, healthcare, and supply chain logistics that help our adult learners either advance or enter into STEM-related fields. When I was in college, we learned about the design of the airbag. The first designs were tested on subjects similar to those that were designing them. So white males in their 30s. When they moved the airbags into production, people who weren't like the test subjects began dying when the airbags were deploying. The design wasn't built for everyone. If they had a more diverse group designing the airbags up front, they could have saved many lives. That is how I feel about the state of our country. Everyone benefits from having a diverse group of voices at the table. This is Carl. He wasn't supposed to be my mentor, but we connected deeply. I call him my mentor now. His architecture firm, Gensler, helped redesign the youth space at Erie. The project pipeline program through INOMA, so they were able to work on the design themselves and then see it come to life, build it and paint it. It's a really great way to get the community involved and teach the students and then you get them interested in architecture or engineering. We had no idea how amazing it would be and how impactful it would become. Having mentors that are already in these professional like, STEM fields are able to somehow like shine the way for our students to have a better understanding of what you need in order to, to attain these careers. And as a result of that, 100% of our high schoolers, 100% graduate and 98% receive college placement. When I saw these drawings again, I knew that I wanted to pursue engineering. Now I'm the youngest engineer on my team at Solberg Manufacturing. So I work designing separation systems, filtration systems, and these systems could be used in hospitals or and they, have, they have food applications. To say that I love my job is an understatement. I feel like I found something that I was born to do. I know that my time in Erie House directly affected my ability to be where I am today. And for that, I'm grateful. 
That's the work that we've been doing for almost 150 years by impacting multiple members of a family in order to shape generations for the future. Imagine the future leaders we could create with more impact. Biology teacher. Forensic investigator. Doctor. Computer programmer. Architect. Chemist. Alex Roman, engineer.